Last night, the FDA announced groundbreaking new policies to further increase testing, very, very substantially so. Uh, all states can now authorize tests developed and used within their borders in addition uh, to the FDA. So uh, the states are very much involved. They have been involved from the beginning, but uh, we're stepping it up as much as we can, and the testing procedures are going well. Uh, and within a short period of time, all of the private labs will kick in. This has never been done before, and it's, uh, it's going to be something uh, very — I think it's going to be incredible if it's done properly. And these are great companies. These are among the greatest companies in the world, actually. So the state's going to be dealing uh, uh, through themselves and with uh, local government, local physicians, local everybody. They're also dealing with us. But we have a tremendous uh, testing capacity. Today, we're also announcing a dramatic expansion of our Medicare telehealth services. Medicare patients can now visit any doctor by phone or video conference at no additional cost, including with commonly used services like FaceTime and Skype, a historic breakthrough. This has not been done before either. In addition, states have the authority to cover telehealth services for their medical patients. And by doing this, the patient is not seeing the doctor, per se, but they're seeing the doctor, so there's no getting close. During this time, we will not enforce applicable HIPAA penalties so that doctors can greatly expand care for their patients using telehealth, so the penalties won't be enforced. We encourage everyone to maximize use of telehealth to limit exposure to the virus. It's been a very successful uh, method of communication, but never used on a on a scale like we're going to use a telehealth. And uh, you'll be able to uh, also better maintain hospital capacity by doing this. Earlier this morning, I spoke with executives from America's fast food industry, Wendy's, McDonald's, uh, all of the, uh, the big ones, uh, Burger King, uh, and they were great. Uh, we're talking about uh, the pickups in light of yesterday's guidance you heard. Uh, to avoid eating or drinking at bars, restaurants, or public food courts, we discuss the important role that the drive through pickup and delivery service can play in the weeks ahead. So that's uh, happening, and uh, they have been fantastic. They have been absolutely fantastic, and they've been doing it already, but uh, they're keeping it open. And uh, smaller staffs are very capable people and very capable companies, and they're doing it. Our guidance yesterday urges Americans to take action for 15 days to help stem the outbreak. It's 15 days from yesterday, and we're asking everyone to work at home if possible, postpone unnecessary travel, and limit social gatherings to no more than 10 people. By making shared sacrifices and temporary changes, we can protect the health of our people, and we can protect our economy, because I think our economy will come back very rapidly. So it's 15 days from yesterday. We'll see what happens after that. If we do this right, uh, our country and, and the world, frankly, but our country can be rolling again. Today, the Senate has taken up coronavirus legislation that includes free testing for those who need it, as well as paid sick leave and family medical leave for workers affected by the virus. We're also committed to getting small businesses the support that they need. In fact, one of the uh, things we talked about with the fast food operations. We spoke to the uh, chairman and CEOs of all of the companies, but one of the things we discussed is exactly that, getting small businesses support and flexibility that they need for themselves and for their workers, and that's being worked on right now. At my direction, Secretary Mnuchin is meeting today with senators on additional stimulus packages. I can tell you he is meeting with them late until the night last night. Tremendous things are happening. There's great spirit, tremendous spirit. And I can say that for Republicans and Democrats. Uh, I can say that with respect to Governor Cuomo, we had a great talk this morning. We're both doing a really good job. Different states uh, need different things, and we, uh, we agree on that 100 uh, percent. We're giving uh, relief to affected industries and small businesses, and we're ensuring that we emerge from this challenge with the prosperous and growing economy, because that's what's going to happen. It's going to pop. One day, we'll be standing possibly up here. We'll say, well, we won. And we're going to say that. As you know, I met with the department store people, all of the retailers, the big ones, including Walmart and others. 
And it was a great meeting. They're stocking up their stores like they've never stocked them before. We're trying to get people to actually buy less, if that's possible. Buy less. Uh, don't take everything. Just buy what you need for a while. It's, they're going to stay open uh, all hours of the day. And uh, they've really been — they've been fantastic. And we recognize that while many American workers can work from home, many others cannot. Many of our health care providers, first responders, and men and women in the food service and manufacturing are showing that uh, — they're showing up and standing up to provide us with the goods and services we need. So we want people to stay home where they can. But in many cases, when you talk about food service and manufacturing, uh, certain items in particular, uh, they are — they're going in and they're practicing all of the safety rules and regulations that we talk about. I'd like to announce some very significant actions that the President has approved today. The first I would say is, earlier today, I sent a letter to Fed Chairman Powell approving his request to use 13-3. And what that will do is uh, the Fed will be setting up a special purpose vehicle, which the Treasury will invest $10 billion in from one of our funds. That will enable the Fed to guarantee the purchase of A1 P1 commercial paper going forward. That is a $1 trillion market and is critical to American workers. It's critical to American business. And it's in critical to American savers, who have a lot of that money in money market funds. So we heard loud and clear there were liquidity issues. This is very significant and will create uh, — I don't think we'll need to use it all, but we have the ability to have the Fed purchase up to $1 trillion of commercial paper as needed. That has already created significant stability in the market today. The second thing I would say is — you know, we've previously talked about uh, deferring IRS payments. The President, earlier this morning, uh, authorized me to announce this program. I have previously announced we would defer $200 billion. The President suggested we increase that to $300 billion, which we'll be, we will be doing. Now, let me just be clear on the specifics. We encourage those Americans who can file their taxes to continue to file their taxes on April 15th because for many Americans, you will get tax refunds. And we don't want you to lose out on those tax refunds. We want you to make sure you get them. Many people do this electronically, which is easy for them and easy for the IRS. Uh, if you owe a payment to the IRS, you can defer up to a million dollars as an individual. And the reason why we're doing a million dollars is that covers lots of pass-throughs in small businesses and $10 million to corporations interest-free and penalty-free for 90 days. All you have to do is file your taxes. You'll automatically uh, not get charged interest and penalties. Now, of course, any American has the right to extend their taxes. We're not taking that a right. But the President has asked us to go up to $300 billion. That's also an enormous amount of liquidity in the system. Uh, the third thing is the President and I worked on a very significant economic stimulus plan. Thank you for being available last night and throughout this morning. And I will be presenting that to the Republicans in the Senate this morning and uh, also discussing that with the House. Uh, we look forward to having bipartisan support. We're now working with the Senate to pass this legislation very quickly. And these will be payments to small businesses. Uh, we've talked about loan guarantees so to critical industries such as airlines and hotels. And we've also talked about a stimulus package to the American worker. Uh, you can think of this as something like business interruption payments for the American workers. Thank you. Do you have any questions for the Secretary of the Treasury? When you say a stimulus package for American workers, do you mean direct payments to Americans, or are you talking about a payroll tax holiday? Um, although the President likes the idea of the payroll tax holiday, I will tell you what we've heard from many people, and the President has said we can consider this. The payroll tax holiday would get people money over the next six to eight months. We're looking at sending checks to Americans immediately. And what we've heard from hardworking Americans, many companies have now shut down, whether it's bars or restaurants. Americans need cash now, and the President wants to get cash now. And I mean now in the next two weeks. How much? Uh, I will be previewing that with the Republicans. There's some numbers out there. They may be a little bit bigger than what's in the Mr. press. Go ahead, please.